Hey everyone, this is Charles Dimitri from loungeboudoir.com and today I'm gonna to talk about how I got this shot right here. I had never done an intimate couples shoot before because I really had no interest in doing them. But when I had a former client call me up and ask me if I would do a couple shoot with her and her significant other, I, I really started to give it some serious thought because I, I wanted to accommodate her and I wanted to, you know, fulfill her request. I wasn't a fan of many couples shoots that I had seen online previously. Um, they just didn't really appeal to me, you know. The couple's in bed and then various scenarios are playing themselves out. That just didn't speak to me. I told my client about my hesitations and told her basically that, look, um, if I'm gonna do a couple shoot, I'm gonna do it the way kind of I wanna do it. Because I had been thinking about how I would approach a couple shoot um, in the weeks prior to her calling me, coincidentally enough, and I gave it some serious thought. So when she called, I thought, wow, this is the perfect opportunity to uh, get the ideas in my head and actually um, photograph them and see if they, if they were gonna work. I said, let's get together on FaceTime with you and your significant other, and I'll tell you my ideas, and if you guys like it, then we'll move forward. So we got together on FaceTime, and I basically told them that I found a lot of couples' shoots lack a certain uh, masculine edge. Uh, most boudoir is shot by women, so most couples' shoots are shot by women. And not all, but a significant majority of them just are shot from the perspective of a female. And I just found, found them to be a little soft. And I wanted to uh, shoot one from an unapologetically masculine perspective. And I told them this and I said, look, I wanna borrow themes and the tone and the energy of Fifty Shades of Grey. I wanna have the man in a, in a suit, fully dressed, and she's gonna be in lingerie. And we will sort of um, play around with that theme of submission and domination. I wanted a very strong a masculine feminine polarity. Um, so those are my sensibilities, obviously. And that's, I said, look, if you guys are okay with that, then we'll go forward. And they, they really liked the idea. They were excited about it. So we planned the shoot and, and we shot the, uh, the images. And by the way, Fifty Shades of Grey is a perfect example of what I talk about in my article, uh, See the Matrix of Creativity and Transcend Boudoir. Because in that story, well, I was interested in that story when I was writing screenplays and I wanted to figure out why it was so popular. I wanted to see if that story followed the classic genre beats of the love story. And I found out that, that it actually did. So what the author um, E.L. James did was she took a love story and she mixed it with elements of erotica and submission and domination to create a very unique kind of love story which became an international bestseller. All over the world, women love this book, and then of course they made a movie about it. Uh, but if you want to read more about the mixing of genres and how to create unique looks, check out that article. I will put a link to it in the description below. In planning this shot, I wanted to have all my poses planned and ready to go. I didn't want to go in there and wing it. So I went online and I Googled like intimate couples shoot, couples boudoir, anything that would sort of pull up images of uh, two people posing together. And I got a lot of great ideas doing that. Now the studio that I shoot in has a bench and what I did was I placed it lengthwise. So she's sitting on the end here and that allowed her to um, place her arms behind her and really get that kind of rigid, uh, upper body part stiff like like it is here and give her support so that when she leans her head back you know she's not falling back or anything now i can't remember if he's straddling her legs or she's straddling his legs but somebody's straddling someone's legs 
in order for them to get um, in close proximity the way they are there. I didn't want to use a bed because a bed might ex you might see the bed extended behind them. Uh, and, I, and I didn't want that. I just wanted the two of them isolated, alone in sort of this, you know, shadowy, dark, dramatic setting. I shot this with a small strip box, overhead strip box with a grid on a boom arm. But you could use a small beauty dish. I would um, use a gridded beauty dish so the light's not spilling out all over the place with a diffuser as well. You could also use just a small... Um, modifier of any type and what you have to do is you have to kind of fine-tune the positioning of both of them because when you when you're using overhead light there's really a small sweet spot small area that is really going to work for you where your subjects are illuminated the way you want them to be illuminated i really like how her face is fully illuminated and his is more in shadow now when you get in the post, you can raise the shadows so you see more of his face. I just happen to like this version of it. If you look really close, you can, you can see his face, but you have to work, work for it to really see it. So if you want to try this uh, yourself, like I said, use a small modifier with a boom arm or rig something up overhead. You might be able to get away with a very tall light stand coming down at an angle as well if you don't have a boom arm. And if you like these videos and you want me to make more of them, please like and subscribe. I certainly appreciate it. And I will see you at a future point in the YouTube universe.